Every autumn at the Glebe Gallery, we run an education programme for Leaving Certificate Art students. And in those workshops, we look at an exam question that comes up in one form or another every year. And that's the question where you have to have visited an exhibition in a gallery or a museum in order to attempt it. So hopefully you've got the work done already, but if you haven't, with the lockdown, you won't get a chance to visit an exhibition between now and the exams at this stage. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to look at a permanent exhibition that we have here in the tea rooms of the Glebe Gallery and to work through the various different things that you would look at if you were actually visiting an exhibition. We're going to have five short videos looking at different aspects of the exhibition here. The first one, I'm just going to give you a very brief overview of the exhibition. In the next video, we'll look at the concept in greater detail at individual pieces of work. In the third video, we'll look at the design of the exhibition, the way the pictures are hung, how they're lit, uh, how they work together. In the fourth video, we'll look at Tory Island because it features very prominently in this exhibition. In the fifth video, we'll look at the environment. We'll look at how comfortable it is for you and also how comfortable it is for the actual artworks themselves. The exhibition is called Derek Hill's Donegal. Derek Hill was an English artist who moved to Donegal in the early 1950s. He lived here for about 30 years in the Glebe House and then he left it to the Irish people. There's a wonderful collection of all sorts of things that he picked up over the years, but primarily it's a collection of paintings. And we converted his old studio, which was originally a stable block actually, into a gallery, a proper white space. So hopefully the sort of exhibition that you've already seen has been in a gallery like that. Um, and I, I always think that uh, those spaces are almost religious and they demand that you respect what you see in them. When you walk into them, you kind of know what you're looking at is important. This exhibition's in a tea room and I really like exhibitions in places like tea rooms and pubs and restaurants and libraries and foyers. Places that you're not expecting to see art uh, and places where the art can surprise you. So Derry Hills Donegal is a collection of sort of three things. The first thing is it's about this very area of Donegal, the Garden Church Hill Glenvey uh, area where he lived and there's paintings that he has made in this area. The second thing, and probably the most prominent thing in the exhibition, is Tory Island. And as I said, we're going to talk about that uh, in more depth later on. But there's paintings here by Derek Hill from Tory Island, and there's also paintings by the Tory Island folk artists. And they're really important. They have a really prominent place in Irish art and in international art, in fact. So we'll look at that in a lot of depth when we come to that. And then the third thing doesn't fit very neatly into the exhibition. We have a collection of photographs that were taken after Derek Hill died, so he wouldn't have seen them. Photographs by people like Simon Birch and Declan Doherty, which I think tell us something about Donegal that isn't obvious. I think there are only a few things that Leaving Certificate Art students really need to have a very firm grasp of in order to sit this, this paper. The first thing is that you have to have an opinion and you have to be able to qualify it. So it's perfectly okay not to like the exhibition, but you have to know why. You have to know what could be better about it and what the weaknesses in the exhibition were. And the opposite is true as well. It's not enough to say you thought it was a wonderful exhibition. You have to be able to show what you've learned from it. So those are the sort of things that we're going to look at in this and in the next few videos. Um, there's a lot of things about this exhibition that I think are really good and really strong and that work very well, but there are a lot of flaws in it also, and we'll look at both of those. I hope you're going to get something out of these videos. I hope it'll help uh, when it comes to setting the leaf insert. If you've already got your research done and you know a lot about the exhibition that you're going to cover in that question, this exhibition could act as a really good contrast because it is so different from a proper gallery or museum exhibition. But it's also, I think, a very good exhibition. There's a lot of substance in it. So it, it will act as a very good uh, compare and contrast tool. And if you haven't been able to get to an exhibition, I'm sure the examiners are going to understand that given the circumstances this year. But there's enough in this, there will be enough in this to do your paper on it alone. 
So please uh, use the comment section to ask questions and maybe give me a little bit of direction on where you would things you would like me to cover. And teachers, please, uh, if there are areas you think could be covered as well, just jump in and ask and we'll see how we can address them. So I hope you enjoyed this um, and that you learn enough from it to be some help in the coming exams. And the best of luck with all of your studies, this and for all the other subjects that you have to do.